Moving on now to developing news in Torrington, where 3,000 homes and businesses on the west side of the city are being told to boil their water if they want to drink it this morning. And a water main break is to blame. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Carolina Cruz is live in Torrington, where residents aren't the only ones affected there. Carolina. That's right. A senior living facility, the Litchfield Wood Healthcare Center, they are also impacted. Luckily, they have an emergency water supply, which should last them a few days. And that'll come in handy because crews yesterday, they struggled to find that damaged line. Water woes in Torrington. Residents there on the west side of town are without water. Tenants at Woodland Hills Apartments stocked up on bottled water after a boil advisory was issued yesterday. Right now, is it? By 31, no, no water. Meanwhile, more than a handful of workers use extensive leak detection techniques to find the source. They listened to hydrants and gate valves for noise. They also listened to what was happening underground to find where the break could be. When the damaged line is fixed, crews will collect water samples to test for bacteria. It'll take about 24 hours to get results and give the all clear or continue the boil water advisory. Anyone living in this area who is impacted by this boil water advisor, you can come here to the water company and you can fuel up on drinking water. They'll have a potable water filling station here. Reporting in Torrington, I'm Carolina Cruz, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.